America First Policy Institute Center for the American Dream chair and niece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Alveda, great to see you. Um, I'm going to hand the floor over to you and first ask you, what is your New Year's message? My message for New Year's, and looking back at 2021, it's about to be behind us. We need to thank the good Lord for bringing us through. Some of us had COVID, some lost friends, loved ones, family to COVID. We experienced a lot of arguments about many things, and yet we are here. So my message comes from my grandfather, Reverend Martin Luther King Sr., who said, thank God for what we have left. So we pick up with what we have left and we begin to move forward into 2022. Can you imagine? Personally, I've got another book I'm working on, some new music, and at the um, Center for the American Dream at America First Policy Institute, building bridges, mending relationships, bringing people together for the American dream. Mm -hmm. My uncle, Martin Luther King, Jr., Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., said that he had a dream and it's rooted in the American dream. We need to take a look at the American dream that knows how to repent, to forgive, to be kind, and to thank God for what we have left. So much good sentiment there. So much people can learn from. You know, we complained a lot about all the things that happened this year. COVID, of course, um, was one of them. And as you mentioned, many people did die. And, and I'm not diminishing the human tragedy here. Um, and we faced other challenges as well, Alveda. But still, when I look back on the year, as much as I complained, as bad as I thought it was, I could see the silver lining. There were parts of it that were wonderful too, and it wasn't so bad. So I'm trying to sort of bring that up and, and think about the positive things as we move into 2022, which sounds like, sounds like you're on the same page. Absolutely, and in 2021, towards the end, especially around Christmas, people were remembering the reason for the season. For many of us, that's Jesus. And people were more generous, not with just money and gifts, but with time, spending time together, thoughtfully communicating, I thought that was amazing. So that's something that we can carry with us into the new year. Let me ask you a question. One of the big um, topics this year was crime across the country. We saw, saw spikes in many major cities. Some of it was, um, you know, as a result of policies that we've seen because of the pandemic, but also, you know, lawmakers becoming um, a little bit less lax in, in enforcing policies as well. Some of the crime, I think, was probably fueled by anger as well. Your thoughts on how we can rein that in as a country? We have had in 2020 and 2021 anger, confusion, not knowing how to work with each other, communicate with each other. The mask took away the human face, the human dignity. And I believe in dignity from the womb to the tomb for the one blood, one race human beings. So what we need to do now, there again, that's where that repentance comes from. Thinking about yourself, what could you do differently? What could you say differently? Mm -hmm. And to carry that forward as well. And all of the arguments, we shouldn't be fighting each other. We need to fight to live mm -hmm. and to be kind. Civility, kindness. They took civics out of school years ago, yeah. along with cursive writing and things like that. So we need, in every generation and now every decade, we need to bring kindness back to the forefront and learn to communicate without yeah. hating. You bring up so many wonderful points, things that we should think about as we ring in the new year tonight, kindness, helping each other, putting the worst behind us and moving forward as a nation. Dr. Alveda King, happy new year to you. Wonderful to see you today. Same to you. Bye, everybody.